refreshing, full of flavor, a staple in our region. In fact, I could go for one just talking about them. A nice cold craft beer in a frosty mug with beads of sweat rolling down the icy glass. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, well, right now, researchers are paving the way for craft beer to not only be brewed here, but have one of its signature ingredients grown here as well. WPTV's Akeel Smith has the story from Alberg. What we're trying to do is figure out what's the best way to grow hops in this region, given the fact that we have even more sort of pest issues than they do where these are commercially grown. Dr. Heather Darby is referring to the Pacific Northwest, where hops are grown in a drier climate. Here on the Border View Research Farm in Auburg, her team is growing 24 types of hops to find out which varieties do well in the Northeast. The biggest battle? Fighting a disease called downy mildew. Our perspective has been how do we do this in the most sort of environmentally conscious way and still enable a farmer to have a really high producing crop? Pests are just one of the problems this group is tackling, so farmers don't have to. We're putting ourselves out there trying to get ahead of them so that their learning curve isn't so steep. Each year, these researchers publish their findings to help other farmers find success. Even farmers that are used to growing crops, this is so different and so unique to what they're accustomed to. That just the idea that there's a place to go and get the information, it's like we're not at this alone. The work here extends well beyond the research. The prototype harvester developed right here on the farm is now available commercially for other farmers to use. Farmers like Reese Wisnowski. To see it work up here and to have something where we can, we can take that and learn from it and bring it down south in East Middlebury is, is great, very exciting. These are looking pretty decent. Darby says there are more hurdles to overcome, but the future for hop growing here is bright. There's a, certainly a group of brewers that are very, very interested in buying local, and um, and others that you know are sort of waiting back, seeing what happens. What I hope is that hops are going to become a viable crop for some of the farmers that live in this region, and they're able to grow them and and you know make a living or. Um, have it become a part of their diversified operation and um, and satisfy the you know sort of needs of the the craft brewery movement and also the needs and wants of consumers in Auburg, Keel Smith, WPTZ News Channel 5.